Okay, Chapter 1, Order of Operations. The saying that we have learned throughout the years is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, and so that stands for parentheses. Components multiply division. subtraction okay PEMDAS parentheses exponents multiplication division addition and subtraction one common phrase that's left out of this when we learned it is um, everything is done from left to right just as you would read it And I like to multi uh, I like to link together multiplication and division because they're done at the same time. If all you have is multiply and divide, they're done at the same time, left to right. And also, if you have addition and subtraction, that's all you have left. Then it's from left to right as well. And we'll get to some examples of that in just a second. Okay, so let's move on to some problems. Here's our first problem. 16 minus 8 divided by 2 squared plus 14. Keep in the back of your mind. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, had a little phone call there. had to answer. Um, all right, let's take a look at this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, we don't have any. Exponents, we do. All right, so I'm just going to highlight our first exponent. I'm going to show every single step. So we're going to work through this. We've got 16 minus 8 divided by 4 plus 14. So now we have subtraction, division, and addition. Obviously, we need to do the division first. So I'm going to take both numbers and the signs that are connected to them. I'm going to do that first. So I'm bring down my 16. Now, negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. And now, because all I have is addition and subtraction, I'm just going to go left to right. 16 minus 2 is going to be 14. And then 14 plus 14 is is going to give me a final answer of 28. Okay, looking at our second example, 4 divided by 2 plus 5 parentheses 10 minus 6. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, our very first one is parentheses. So let's go ahead and take care of those parentheses. These are not in parentheses, so we're just going to bring them down. Now 10 minus 6 is 4. So now we have 4 divided by 2, still parentheses there, so I'm going to go ahead and take that 5 times 4, which is 20. Now I've got division and addition, obviously division first. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then when I add 20 to that, that's going to give me a final answer of 22. Okay, let's step it up a notch where they give us x, y, and z. And they give us the values, x equals 4, y equals 5, z equals 3. So we're going to substitute those in first. So this is going to be 3 times 4 squared. Then inside the parentheses, I'm going to have 2 times 5. 
and then I'm going to have 3 to the third power. This is on the outside of the parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and, and do those exponents. That's going to be 3 times 16. Just keep that for later. 2 times 5 is going to give me 10. And then 3 to the third power, be very careful here. It's 3 times 3 times 3, which is going to be 27. Now, complete the parentheses. 16 times 3 is going to give us 48. And 10 plus 27 is going to give us 37. So that gives us a grand total of 85. Okay, that should do it. Just a little under six minutes for Chapter 1, Section 2, Order of Operations.